Hi everyone, this is Carlos from GNS3 Talk and in this uh, video we'll be looking at the sixth ticket of the uh, CCMP T-Shoot uh, track. I'm going to open uh, the GNS3. Uh, th uh, I'm going to open the sixth ticket. Hmm, actually there's no sixth ticket. The sixth ticket and uh, which includes, uh, which may contain a uh, access list or a VLAN filtering and given that we are only using the built-in 16-port uh, 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 switch ESW part of the 3660 uh, router unfortunately this switch model module uh, doesn't support the uh, VLAN filter nor the uh, uh, support security so I'm going to skip over from ticket number 5 into ticket number 8 so 6 and 7 are not included however the configurations and the um, answer for these two tickets is really 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 simple I mean if if you've passed CCMP t-shoot or CCMP route uh, this is like walk in the park really so uh, you may as well go on to the uh, network to it website and check out uh, ticket 6 and 7 so in this uh, video I will be working on ticket 8 instead So I'm going to start it. Okay, so um, I'm going to assume that the ticket is uh, exper uh, is telling us that there is a a um, accessibility problem for the clients one to reach the web server. So I'm going to and connect to the router to the routers. Okay, so I'm going to go to client one as well. And uh, if you're use, uh, you will be given a Windows machine, so please use IP config in uh, your Windows machine and don't use show IP interface brief because we are using the I'm using the show IP interface brief because this is really a router with no routing capabilities um, enabled. Okay, so the first thing I could see, well, there's no IP address being assigned. So the first thing I would have to do really is really jump into the ASW1, and obviously when there is a uh, an IP address assignment problem, you start working out from uh, the closest nodes into your host. So I'm going to jump into the ASW1, and what 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 I need to do really is first of all, this is a, a layer two switch which means all what we could do is we need to make sure that there is a VLAN 10 is actually configured for that particular port let me just hover my mouse on top of it and it is actually port 5 uh, 5 uh, sorry fast ethernet 1 slash 0 this is the port which should be configured with VLAN uh, value uh, VLAN 10 uh, we need to make sure that the trunking is up and running with DSW1 and DSW2 and uh, we need to make sure that the VLAN uh, 10 is actually propagating from ASW1 to DSW1 and ASW1 to DSW2 so that uh, the IP addresses can be can be attained from the DHCP server because if the VLAN 10 is, is really blocked from here uh, the IP uh, discovery DHCP discovery uh, packets won't be able to pass beyond uh, ASW1 and again if there's a problem between router 4 and DSW1 or router 4 and DSW2 and uh, the DHCP discovery uh, packets won't be able to go beyond these switches either alright so let me start working on the ASW1 so given that this is a uh, just a module on a Cisco router yeah, in the exam, you're only supposed to do show VLAN, that's it. But here, and given that this is, as I said, is only a, the 16 uh, port uh, switch module of the router, you need to go uh, show VLAN switch. In the exam, you only go show VLAN. Here, you only show VLAN switch. Okay. So I think we, <laughs> we know what the problem is. 
says active fast Ethernet 1.1 and fast Ethernet 1.2. We just told, uh, we just found out that actually it is ASW1 fast Ethernet 1.0 that's supposed to be connected to the client. So the first thing that we know is really fast Ethernet 1.0 is not really part of VLAN 10. So that should fix up our problem. So if I go into show run. Fast Ethernet 1.0 is not configured to be an access port and is not configured to be part of VLAN 10. You can see 1.1 and 1.2 are access ports and actually part of VLAN 10. So that's the solution. So on the ticket, where is the problem? Problem is ASW1. What's what is causing the problem is the VLAN configurations. How do you rectify this problem is really just go into the interface mode of fast Ethernet 1.0 and add this command which I'm going to add now. So go config t interface fast Ethernet 1 uh, slash 0 uh, switch port mode access and the, so we're defining the port uh, fa uh, fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 as an access port and switch port access VLAN 10 so we're telling it that port to be an access port and we're also telling it to be part of VLAN 10 control Z and that's it uh, to verify I need to go to the client and you go if you show on IP interface brief this may take a while for it to actually get IP address assigned to it so what I'm going to do is really jump into the fast Ethernet uh, 0 slash 0 uh, shut it down unshut it and um, it should get an IP address assignment for it. And wait for a while. Um, whoever configured this uh, client, they may have uh, disabled login console, so you're not really to see uh, any uh, port coming up or coming uh, or going down. Okay, so this is all done. I'm going to go show IP interface brief and here you go you can see the IP address has been uh, has been attained uh, for that interface uh, well let's give it a shot and see if I could ping 209 65 uh, 200 241 I haven't checked the rest of the topology to be honest so hopefully uh, things are working and yep you could see that uh, the success rate is a hundred percent well now it's a hundred percent well I uh, this is the uh, eighth ticket of the uh, CCMP T-shoot uh, uh, track and I hope this has been informative and please uh, leave a message um, or send me an email if you like on my channel if you need any any further details thanks for watching